14 minutes. We've got colour and it is a snapper. <laughs> it is a uh, big snapper. Really got the net on him. Uh, I finally got Sam from Shimano to join me on a trip up Durbel. We're going to head up and we're going to target some snapper. We've got a small window today. We've got 20 knots southeast is coming through. We've managed to tuck up on the western side of Durbel. It's pretty calm up through here. And uh, we're going to head up the top and try and uh, get Sam some snapper. He hasn't been up for a while. And we're also trying out the brand new uh, Shimano Chaos rods. So I've got a spin version to try and we've also got the overhead. So the overhead we're going to run with an OC Jigger 1000, that's the new uh, 2018 model. And also the other Chaos we're running on the little Stella 1000. Uh, so me and Sam are going to try and catch some snapper. Hey guys, uh, Sam here from Shimano Fishing. We just shot out to Durval Island, me and Mark Cotton. We're out here testing a couple of new rods. We're testing the new Shimano Chaos rod series. We've got a couple of different rock models we're running today. We've got the uh, two different colours, available in green and highlight, highlight of orange. Pretty cool little fancy grips on them. They're a winds grip. I'm running an overhead with the OC Jigger 1000, which is a six foot four, 20 to 30 pound, designed for fishing 45 up to 160 gram jigs. And Mark is running his favourite little Stella 1000, matched up on the orange version at 7 foot 2 piece, 6 to 15 pounds. And uh, we're dropping down some bottom ships, trying to chase a few snapper. We'll let you know how we get on. What's happening, Sammy? Just getting a bit of warm. A bit of warm stuff on, mate. There's a bit of a cold, cold southerly coming through. So, it's freezing now, dude. It's freezing. That's <laughs> brutal. I like to put the warm gear on before you actually get cold, because once you get cold, it just, oh, it's hard to recover from it, eh? You need to drop now, dude. Okay. There's massive amounts of cooter there. Oh, perfect. Good size cooter, too. Right, Sam's getting ready for his first drop. He is running the OC Ajika 1000 on the new Chaos rod. T45. Carbon graphite with the uh, internal hoop strength using the uh, graphite cloth on the inside, carbon tape. The thing I love about them, if you can see this guys, is this section here, they've actually got EVA over it. So, Sammy's running the overhead and I'm running the spin. What's under there Mark? That's the Stella 1000, oh. my favourite piece of weapon. Did I, did I have to have to ask mate? Just I love, leave, just I love leave it the, down Sam, I'm going to use that. I love the matching um, reel covers too. Yeah, that's pretty good. It's real cool. Well, I think we're going to have to go back up now. Oh, you lost the cooter? Uh, we're on the pinnacle, uh, but there's a lot of cooter there dude, so I'll drop up above it. Yeah. Then you get keep your lure on the bottom, don't bring it up more than a few meters. Awesome drags, well, that's what that is. It's called exciting drag. Very exciting. First drop. First drop on the new uh, Chaos Rod with the new OC Ajiga 1000. Seems to be working alright so far. Nice parabolic bend going through the rod there. I like it. Coming in easy now, mate. Is it? Yeah, buddy. Yep. Nice wee snapper. First fish on the, uh, the new Chaos Rod, Mark. Pretty cool. And the OC a jigger. Nice one to start us off. Not if you can see this guys, but in the background there, uh, there's a massive boiler. Are they treves or car wire? They look like treves. They are treves. Cut this out mate, you want a treve? Do you want treves? Sound is just uh, completely, uh, it's completely red, which I'll show you in a minute. Sam had a pretty good cast for the spin, but I reckon this might be a tree. He's got that sort of a constant nod. Constant that nod. Like, uh, and first fish on uh, on the new chaos. 
and I'm thinking it's probably a cooter. Uh, maybe not. Name, it is a, a Trevelli. Net. Uh, Kawai. 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 Feisty little fella. We'll let him go. I love that with the bottom ship, so you just grab the lure. Yeah. So <laughs> like we T bar handle to hold onto the hooks and not get jagged. But nothing ever swallows it for cod or anything, you no. know, like. No, brilliant. Pliers are a must though, you, want to get, you don't want to get one of those in your finger. No, those are not super good. sharp. So they were probably car while then, were they? Right, we'll go back up. <laughs> that's actually that's almost 50 metres deep, dude. Yeah? 50 metres deep of bait fish and fish. That's unreal. Oh, I've, I'm hooked oh. up over there. Do you want to go over there, Sam? Can oh, you get mate, that one? He's leaving the rod holder, did you? Yeah. Nice. Rod holder did the damage. Yeah. Hold on. You need me to hit, you need hand one in that in. You go for it, mate. Hello, right, brother. I'm on camera. You're just the cameraman. Oh, and boat driver. Do you want me to drop the other one or sort your other fish out? Yeah, can you unhook it and icky it as well? Okay, I'll, I'll come back to this battle. Another nice one, mate. Yeah, buddy. Not bad. <laughs> first first couple of drops on the uh, on the chaos rods here. Yeah, that's awesome. Mark hooked up with a nice wee uh, blue bottom ship. And uh, I ended up doing the same on a pink bottom ship. A couple of nice wee eaters. It's good. Me and Sam are in a bit of a hot bite here. We actually just drifted quite a, a wee way off the, a wee way offshore actually, and the snapper actually, look at them there, Sam. They're they're right out deep. Yeah. Uh, we're in about 70 metres of water, and I've hooked a pretty good one here. I'll drop the couple, and now he's hooked up on the other side of the boat, and we'll see if we can get some running commentary from Sam. Doing all right so far. Quite weird, we've got lots of big schools of uh, either Trevally or Kawa working up around the backs of us, but once we get through those down a bit deeper, you end up picking up a few good snaps. Looks like Mark's on a good one though. That one's a oh, bit, bit in the last one, but definitely not a thumper, Mark. I don't know. <laughs> I'm thinking it's not a thumper now, Sam. <laughs> Mark called it for a thumper. It did smoke a lot of line, but I still think it's a good, it's going to be a good fish. What do you want? Come on. Oh yeah, nice little uh, kingfish. There you go. Oh, that's a good snapper. <laughs> oh yeah, I've got a, I've got a like a ginormous kahawai. Oh, look at right. the state of that thing. Ocean going kahawai. And, I wonder if it smoked a bit of light at the start. That's chiganormous. That's a big kahawai. Just dropped down, hooked up to a uh, fairly sizable little snapper here. Not wanting to budge though. She's, uh, I'm not making much ground on her. I'm loving this new drag on the uh, Osea jigger. Just sounds awesome. Actually having a bit of noise going on, rather than just going out super, so super silent. Oversized handle's awesome too, man. Making some good headway now. Oh, it's a good one. Just lost him. Oh, well, you released him. He's gone down there. There he is. We would have had him if I had the net. <laughs> We're finally getting some line back on this thing, eh? Hey? She's had a hell couple of runs. Real good runs. Just going nuts. Good fish. Yeah, it feels reasonably heavy. I had a couple of few good runs at the start, just not making any headway with it, eh? But, starting to come now, which is good. Just nice, good, solid weight. There's a good red. It's a good red. Oh, like that, look at that. That's a nice fish, man. Managed to uh, pull out this nice little snapper. Went with a matching combo. Or orange and white lacanas, orange chaos rod, and we ended up with a nice, beautiful snapper. I'm pretty happy with that fish.
Cheers, Mark. up on the way down. What do you got on? Uh, bottom ship and the uh, pink sardine. Just smacked it hard, eh? Got the leader. Got a colour. Oh, that's a good fish. Yeah, mate. Oh, that's a good fish, Sam. Goody. Well done, Sammy. That's uh, that's uh, gonna be close to 20, buddy. Oh, I'm speechless, mate. I'm just speechless. It's awesome. Yeah, just uh, got another great snapper here, testing out the new Chaos rods. This is the uh, second one we landed. Decent fish. Uh, that one took the bottom ship in pink. Pretty happy with that one. Oh, what do you reckon weighing in it, Sam? Oh, probably 18 to 19 at an estimate, but first fish on the OC 1000. First decent one, actually. That's awesome, that's really awesome. Okay, guys, so uh, we had a very successful evening and we were testing the brand new Chaos range of rods. The overhead, which was a 45 to 160 gram, and also the seven foot spin. So we're using it with a little OC, a jigger. Uh, the new 1000, 2018 model OC, a jigger. And it's got the new power handle on that, so it's pretty cool. Also, the seven foot spin version, the orange version, we were using with the Stella 1000. That's my new little favorite reel. Uh, Sam had a good burn on both of them, and he managed to get a probably around an 18 pound snapper, maybe a bit bigger. We came in tonight because that sow easter was pushing its way through. We were drifting at 44 knots going through uh, the, the, the spots where the fish were. The fish weren't quiet, there was a lot of sign there, but they just weren't feeding. So we decided to come in, we're gonna um, sort these fish out, and we're also gonna cook tea, have a bit of a cook up, uh, park up, and then tomorrow morning we're gonna head out and have another go. We've gotta be back pretty early, so we're gonna beeline it around about 10, 10.30 and that's probably going to be about it so it's good to get sammy up here finally and have a go for some big reds so we just wrapped up for day one we've uh, stopped at a couple of spots on the way up the island uh, dropped down a few bottom ships in lacanas and had a fish on both style lures really enjoyed using the new chaos rods they uh they performed pretty well um, the Osea Jigger and Stella 1000 also pretty cool little reels to use so it was nice to get out there and, and catch some fish. I suppose we got a few fish in the bin today up to sort of 18 pound I suppose. Uh, a couple of 16s, 18s. Let one go up the side of the boat, might have been around about 13 but that was cool. And um, I suppose we'll do it all, we'll stay up here tonight, uh, have a bit of a feed, cook up some steaks and which will be nice. Then up in the morning nice and early for daybreak and hopefully get out first light and get back into it. I'm looking forward to it, should be good. It is a very, very cold sow, I think it's a sow easter coming through. But uh, the wind had died off, now it's picked up. The moon's coming over in the background, it's quite a cool shot. Uh, Sammy's just gutted all the fish and he's just broken out some secret new weapons that are coming into New Zealand from Shimano. And we've got the Ducan Snapper Ball. I don't know if you can see that. Now these things look pretty wicked. So we're gonna give them a try in the morning. Uh, we're not, I'm not, I'm a little dubious on the hooks. The hooks are a little bit thin, but we're gonna give them a test anyway. We've got a black colored ball. We've got a, what is that? Silver, white, silver, 120 gram. So tomorrow morning, first thing, we're gonna get up and we're gonna give these bad balls a try and see if we can't pick up some big snapper. They are looking pretty cool. I'm looking forward to using these, something new to try anyway. So apparently these are coming out in the market uh, maybe the end of the year, start of summer next year, is it Sam? Yep. 
Yep, so the do can snap a bowl. It's I don't have an excuse. It's just the way it <laughs> is. This is the best time, eh? Just fill it in some steaks, mate. It's because you bought rump. The best. No one buys rump. What are you making tonight, champ? Gonna make some uh rump steak burgers, onion jam, bit of a uh, bit of onion jam, onion jam, onion relish jam. Turns into like a uh, bit of a sauce to put on your on your burger. Some uh, coleslaw and some nice bit of cheese to go with it. Sound good? Yeah, sounds pretty good. You got any soy sauce? No. That's the best thing about bringing new people out for an overnighter. You let them do the shopping and make sure they get good food, and you can have uh, delicious yum yums. Yum yums. Don't give away my secrets, mate. I'll give away your fishing spots if you tell people what I cook. Okay. Bit of our uh, caramelised onion relish, my friend, which will go nicely with our rump steak. Should be ideal, mate. Look forward to it. Actually, have you had that Mexican, the Mexican fire hot chili sauce or hot sauce? No, I haven't. Next oh, time, next time so you're going to do cooking, woodlocks, woodlocks make the best sauces, eh? Oh yeah, and pre. Pre-sliced cheese, only way to go, mate. They make the best stuff, man. Oh, yeah. That wind's picked up a bit now, eh? Yeah, a little bit, eh? It has, definitely. Well, it's burger time. Would you call it a burger, Sam, or more of a sandwich? Uh, it's like a steak sandwich, pretty much, but uh, I've got, a, I've got a, a knife spoon, you're right. It's yours, mate. Dig in. Thanks, mate. Is it here? <laughs> it wasn't mine. <laughs> it's pretty long. Yeah. It's not mine long. then. Mm. How's that? Good tucker, mate. Morning guys, uh, 6 a.m. Uh, what are we, Thursday morning? Me and Sam are gonna head out now for a another snapper. We've got the new lures to try, but we're not sure if we'll use them first thing. We're gonna have a look around. It's pretty dark still, uh, so we're not quite sure if there'll be many snapper on the feed until that first light comes up. But uh, we just brewed up uh, a nice coffee with the Alpine pot. And we are now going to make our way out uh, into the fishing spots. Okay, guys, uh, first drop this morning on New Chaos. I see a Jigger combo. She's, uh, I think, it's hooked up to a nice wee Trev. Not sure yet, haven't got any colour, but nice little uh, heavy weight with a constant nod going on, it's pretty cool. Old Mark dropped one exactly the same time, He's had, he got his halfway up and dropped it. So, probably on a wee bit of a school of trips going on. It's the new Ducan lure. Not colour yet. Oh, so, old mate was taking a bit of a cook, was he? Nice little Trev, mate. Send it back for uh, send it back for another day, eh? Away she goes. Whew. Drop down into a nice school of fish there, Mark. Just 
No, no, it's just hit on the drop. It was basically, I reckon it was pretty much on the bottom almost, and just bang, she got picked up. I'm loving fishing this over here for a change, man. That's cool. It's quite cool as you can feel them pick them up on the, on the way down. Just lock your thumb on the spool, auto engage, boom, she's in. Well, actually, if I think I'm near the bottom, I'll actually slow the drop down a little bit. It's not a record breaker, but a nice, solid fish, I'd say. Pink bottom ship. It's a really good fish, dude. <laughs> Another good fish, maybe up around eight pound, I'd guess. What'd you say, Mark? Yeah, probably around eight, dude. Yeah, not too bad, eh? Yeah. Good, solid, chunky fish, though, look, condition on it. Yep, wonky on. Wonky on! Wonky off. I might have not been a wonky. The old Dukan doing the business. Mate, this thing's absolutely just some smoke and some line, bro. Finally making some headway on them. Oh, jeez. Oh, <laughs> Hooked up on the other side as well. Oh, gosh. Uh, this is going to be carnage. I know. Carnage, man. Came in and just smacked that Dukan. That orange Dukan, man. That thing is awesome. All right, we're going to try and manage this one as well. I'll try and go hand three, guys. On this one. Well, this is a good fish. He's been fighting the rod holder for a wee bit, actually. It's <laughs> the old rod holder tying him out. It has. <laughs> He's just coming in. It's probably not too good a, too big a fish. Still, he's just coming in now. He's uh, he was having a good go. They were filming Sam, and he was uh, powering away. How you going, Sammy? Oh yeah, it's taking a bit longer than I thought. So how big is it? Oh, there's a stonker. <laughs> Here she is, buddy. The old new do can. Oh no, it's drifting up. Have you got a, um, a lip grip? Yeah. A lip grip. In your five dollar bin? My five dollar bin. Well, that's a nice little fish, isn't it? How's that for the first snapper on Ducan? Great fish, dude. Not bad, eh? It's awesome. 16. Right, so hooked up. Sam's been getting all the fish. Uh, I've got the new Chaos and my little favourite Stella 1000. Well, I haven't really been fishing. Um, Sam's been, uh, been fishing. I've been trying to get him some fish. Actually, that's really not true. <laughs> I've been smashing the wonky conks on the side of the boat. But uh, now I've hooked up. I'm saying 10 pound. Before I said I had about a 10 pounder and it turned out it was half a pound, it was foul hooked. We might be getting some angle on this fish. So generally, if you're in deep water and you've got a good snapper, most of the time, they'll pop up from quite a distance. Some of the groper. And this guy, it's going to pop up out behind us, which you can see right there. And he looks like he's actually got a good one. There you go, look at him. Oh, it's fish. Probably around a 10, 10 pound maybe.
it's about time, buddy. It is about time. <laughs> Look at that, he's got a little bit of a knobby head on him. But I'd say he's around 10 or 12 pounds. That guy? What lure are you taking on, Mark? On a uh, bottom ship. Alright, just hooked another good snapper. Seems like I'm having a bit better luck now, later on in the morning, than Sam. Sam's been raking them in, and I've got a very good snapper on at the moment. Very weighty. Not getting a lot of line, he's battling pretty well. We've got a short morning today. I have to be back uh, at the shop at uh, 1 o'clock because uh, Mario's got a few things he needs to do. So me and Sam have to beeline it pretty early actually. We're going to be out of here at uh, 10 o'clock, 10.30. Which sucks because the weather's really good. As you can probably see in the background, the weather is mint today. Absolutely mint. I've nearly got this guy up. He's coming up now. Yeah, here he is. That is a good snapper. Oh, he's awesome. Oh, he's An awesome rod, an awesome reel. Oh, he's still quite feisty. The new Chaos rods are wicked. And I'm in love with my little Stella 1000. That's caught some wicked fish so far. Not another nice one. So we're done pretty good. We're going to beeline it pretty soon, but we'll have a couple more drops and then uh, cut a track. I think I just bust it off. There seems to be fish out the tail end here. Yeah. And again, mate. Yeah, buddy. Yeah, just come up with the surface like a floater, mate. She's come up in a big, huge hurry now, so. She's probably blowing out a wee bit, like you said. Oh, it's a good fish, dude. Chunky fish. That's a nice one. I'll get the old net on him. <laughs> this is what we call South Island panties. Oh. <laughs> I told Mark it wasn't a very big one. It is, it's getting up there. Another nice little South Island penny. Oh, you dirty, dirty hooer. If you lose it. Yep. Uh, I'm still on. She's not ideal. Oh, he's not even big. How did that fight like that? Uh, a good little panty snapper. Do I mind Getsu back now? No. I've got fucking Getsu's in my bag. Too. Why don't you use them then? Because yours are free. Something different. Something different, eh? Okay. Well, we've got time to go out there. It's not too far. Time is ticking. Oh. There's like fish there straight away. No one's here though. Got a bit of action on the old snap ball. Right, what are we doing? Go on the next spot? Uh, we can do, yep. yep. If you want to, head around there and fish that and then go from there. Yep. We're getting the fish there, so... Well, the tide's changed now. <laughs> yeah, wow. Well. Oh, yeah, this is what's smack on the way up. Did you? Yeah. Oh, yeah. Trip. Good test the hooks, though. Take a while. 
We've, uh, I've been hooked up for about two minutes already. Not really making any headway whatsoever. Got a really nice light action rod on this. Try and protect those little hooks as we want it in, but it's a reasonable size, I'd say it's a Trevally. But time will tell if we get them up. But we might be here a while. Mate, this is the, uh, the gaming Getsu. And I've got it matched up with a wee Grappler 300. And I've got on the new, new Storm Snapper Ball. Uh, which is probably one of my new favourite lures actually in the orange colour. It's been smashing some good fish all day. It's awesome. Awesome. It just doesn't move. Surprisingly hardly moved at all. Just that wind sort of drifting us. Right Sam, you are in minute 14 mate. <laughs> 14 minutes. No, We're not 100% sure if it's a snapper or a trev. We're pretty uh Pretty sure it is a Trev, wow. but there's hope that it might be a big rad. Uh, we're testing out the new snapper ball, and it's got very uh, small hooks, so we're giving them a test. So the drag is reasonably light on this. Sam's not pushing it, it's taking his time. There it is. Colour. We've got colour and it is a snapper. <laughs> it is a, a very big snapper. Get the net, mate. It is a uh, big snapper. We're gonna get the net on him. <laughs> that is a big snap up. <laughs> nice, mate. Oh. Oh. That's uh, that'll be your 20 pound for the weekend, my friend. Yes. <laughs> Cheers, mate. No worries, mate. Awesome. Nice, bro. Took us time, but we got there. Let's check out that um, snapper ball. Oh, that's at least three good fish on that, eh? Yeah. That thing's spectacular. Don't show everyone. Oh. <laughs> <laughs> Look at those hooks, dude. Right in the lip. Coaxed it up nicely on that. The new snapper ball. Well done, mate. Yeah, well mate, done. Pretty happy with that. That's uh, three good fish on the snapper ball today. Most oh, recording stopped. Oh, that's it. Yeah, they're all, man. Weston's quicker, isn't it? Probably is. Just if it's rougher or what? Is it though? I don't think so. Probably is. Awesome trip with Sam from Shimano. We uh, took a few new products up there, a few new rods and reels, and had a bit of a ball. It was good to get Sam finally up there and catch some snapper, and he managed to get some real good ones. The last fish of the trip uh, turned out to be uh, uh, the biggest one actually, a uh, 20 pound snapper, and uh, he's absolutely chuffed. A long time we've been trying to get him up there, but the weather just hasn't played ball for us, so. We're just going to put the trailer on and I've got to go and work the afternoon. Uh, so we had to beeline it early. We uh, hunt home pretty quickly actually, doing about 30 knots on the way home. So uh, that's the end of this vlog and I'll see you next time guys.